Hey guys, it's Ross, and today we're going to be taking off our air layers. Um, I have quite a few, as you can see right over there. I have one that I've already separated from the mother tree. We're going to be taking that out of the bag. We're going to be taking the tin foil off very carefully. We're going to be putting it into these 4x9 tree pots, labeling them, and we're also going to be doing something very important to the tree itself because there's a little bit of maintenance that needs to happen after you take an air layer off. So if you haven't seen my other videos on air layering, you can go back and see that and see the whole process of how I got a lot of my air layers to send out roots into sandwich bags. That was one method that I used. The, se the second method I used was just putting an entire pot, cutting that in half in a way, wrapping it around the trunk, taping this up, and then uh, filling that in with soil, keeping the soil moist, and there's now roots all throughout this pot here and that pot. So it's really nice that it's a very easy way of uh, air layering your fig trees. It really, really is simple. And now we're going to be taking them off today. Um, so don't miss these couple steps here. Before I get into that, I want to mention that this tree here, I'm going to be leaving the air layer on until dormancy. I have no reason to be taking the, tr the air layer off. It just doesn't make sense. Um, if I were to take this air layer off of this actively growing tree, that'd be a lot of energy taken away from the mother tree. But if I could wait until dormancy, when all the energy from the, the wood, the leaves, goes back into the roots, that's how a fig tree works in the wintertime. It drops all of its leaves, a lot of the sap then gets stored into the, the roots, and then you have... Um, a very successful and easy process of me separating these and then that way not really losing too much energy um, from the tree so it's a better way to do it not necessary to wait till dormancy but uh, you can see right here we're going to be separating quite a few of these in this video and this is still in the active growing season so let me just show you guys really quickly what it looks like to take this out of the bag and what it looks like to um, up pot this and what I'm going to be doing afterwards. Let me put you guys down and hopefully we can do this as smooth as possible. Just got to keep you guys balanced. You're not going anywhere. Okay. All right, perfect. So take the tin foil off. What I like to do is just take off the few bottom leaves. You know, these bottom leaves are kind of in the way. We're going to be taking leaves off anyway. So might as well, right? And usually you should use scissors. I don't know where I, what I did with my scissors, unfortunately. But we need to take this, this uh, tree tubing off, this plastic tubing that I love to use nowadays. And then now we're left with the sandwich bag and the soil and the roots and it's good to be very very careful from this point onwards because you do not want to disturb any of the roots what I need to do is get this bag off of here in a way that's not going to cause a problem so what I'll do is I'll get my pruning shears in here and kind of tear at this bag without disrupting anything um, ideally again you should have scissors at this point but I do not so this is what I have to work with notice that the uh, the roots of this tree is actually quite full there's a lot of roots filling up this bag and um, it's really easy to take off an air layer too soon especially your first couple air layers maybe you don't have as much patience you know growing fruit trees is, and uh, growing your own fruit is really really about patience guys and this is definitely one of those key points here you don't want to lose much soil either. So pretty damn important that uh, this thing is still intact. And we're going to take one of these tree pots. We're going to place this in the bottom of the tree pot. Again, very, very careful. Do not disturb the roots unless you absolutely have no choice. These lower leaves here, I'm going to take these off. The 
tree is not going to be able to support all of those leaves anyway. So some of them are going to have to come off. Now this is a mix here that is not really great for growing trees in, but it's a great mix for porosity. This is a very well draining mix. I have mostly um, pine bark, mulch, I have uh, rice holes in here, I have some fertilizer. It's very, very well draining. And this is the key at this point. You don't want to put your so put your air layers in a medium that is going to suffocate the roots. But you also want to make sure from this point on, we took the air layer off really not too long ago. You got to make sure we're watering this thing. So as soon as you fill this in here, we just need to label this with our, our paint pen. Um, this is really good for marking things in a more permanent way. So we'll cross out the, the uh, previous variety there and we're going to write in what this is. It's Malta Black. So we've got Malta Black there now on the pot. The last thing to do is to water this in really well and to evaluate what we have left here on our uh, on our tree. As you can see, we have a lot of leaves. We have a lot of green growth up here. So we don't want this tree to be stressed. There's actually a fig right here as well. So we're gonna take off that fig. It's unfortunately gonna cause a lot of um, transpiration in this. And that's the goal, right? Is to prevent as little transpiration as possible. Um, some people will come in here with pruning shears. You can literally just take off the entire top, remove many leaves. You can even take your pruning shears here and cut the surface area off some of the leaves, as you see. The less surface area we have, the easier it will be for that root system we just put into this pot to support the rest of the plant. It's a nice balancing act between top and bottom, and that's what's really, really important. So if there's not enough water being uptaken into this plant, um, we're gonna have a problem because all the water at this current moment is being transpirated out of these leaves. So at some point, this tree is not gonna be able to support itself for all of these leaves. So what we need to do is come in here and take off a lot of these leaves. Um, it's better to take off the lower ones, but you don't have to. So we'll take off some lower leaves. Really trying to eliminate transpiration. And so far, I think this is okay. We still have plenty of leaves, plenty. Now, what I think we ought to do now from this point on is we're going to let this thing sit in the shade not in any sun for at least two days and we're going to let this thing adjust now that it has a new root system it's not a part of the mother tree it's very important that this root system can now adjust in a smooth manner so we're going to put it in the shade we're going to water it in well and we're going to watch it we're going to watch it for the next couple of hours and if this tree starts to droop starts to lose some water in the leaves you can very easily see that it'll start to droop the leaves will get thinner. You can feel it. Um, at that point, we need to then remove even more leaves. So it's very important from this point on, we're not really done. You know, once you get past the two day mark, this thing should be fine. It's gonna get on just fine and you're gonna be able to grow uh, new leaves in about a week, to week or two weeks. So this is really, really um, beneficial process that you just have to be watching this. So that's exactly how to remove an air layer, guys. That's that's it. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed this one. I think what I ought to do is I think I ought to show you guys some more of the progress on some of these. A lot of these are going to be removing at dormancy. So um, you can see right in here, this is a Smith air layer. We're going to remove that probably at dormancy. Um, you know, whatever it is that we can leave on here at dormancy is going to be better. Um, 
You know, also the, the other thing I should mention is that if the roots are gonna dry out in any way, it's important to remove this air layer. So we wanna be making sure that the roots that are in this bag, cause you can't, you can't water this, right? You can't water these roots 